Good afternoon, fellow time travelers. How are you? Thank you everyone for coming here today. My name is Michael, as you know. I am the lead prognosticator of prognosticators here at Back to the Future Trading. Last 15 years, many of you here today, uh, long time customers and names that um, make me happy when I see them. It's just, uh, it's really great to have everybody here. I have, uh, I have a attitude of gratitude center. That's cool. 515, we'll go through that. And uh, I appreciate everyone being here today. I hope you're well. You do make me happy, Doug. When, Doug, when I see your name here after so many years and Earl's and Mary's and Chris's and, and Jim's and, um, you got the sharks and the whales in here, guys like Tim who are referring people to us, their next door neighbors, the mailman, and everybody's doing well. Um, it's a reflection. Your attendance here today is a reflection uh, and tells me that I'm doing okay, that people are getting value from this, that they're um, achieving things, they're living lives differently, they're putting things together for the first time. Thank you, Thomas. We brought uh, Charlie in here. He's getting better each time he's working with you guys and uh, such great reports from those of you who started using Warp with him and following his suggestions. And so my goal this year is to bring more people to these webinars, uh, either in an interview format or just a straight out guest host so you can see how different people have use these tools that I'm about to show you here today uh, in conjunction together. Some of you are doing completely different things with the same thing, and it's fascinating to watch. So again, gratitude for those. I like these glasses. My wife likes them because they filter out the blue light, and she says I'm less irritable after the webinars. So <laughs> anything that helps with that is uh, is a good thing. And everything we do is based on time. I believe wholeheartedly, um, I'm convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that time is the missing factor for many of you. I've seen how it's transformed your trading. And I've seen through the reviews, the testimonials, the phone calls, how for many of you, it was a focus point. I don't believe any of you are here accidentally. I believe most of you found me, found us, much my, like myself, found this because you were searching. The stories are always the same. Michael, after many years, tried so many things, disappointed so many times by people that I trusted so much, I'd all but given up something in your email, something on your website, something on the screenshot, identified with it, I'm here today to learn more. And kudos to those of you who crawled across the concertina wire of time to get here uh, today. We do something really weird. We propose that markets are predictive. And if we come together, a few days after we let everybody know what we're expecting to see happen in the future, some pretty interesting things happen after the fact. It's pretty rare that you find a company who's willing to say, not only do we believe this thing, but we're gonna prove it in a way that is unique and irrefutable. So today was kind of bananas, right? Today was a little weird, and um, there's a reason for that. <clears throat> and I'm excited to be here with everybody today and kind of go through the connection points between why we're not succeeding, or some of you are not succeeding, and why some of you are are doing better than others. And. <sighs> Let me preface all of it by saying this is hard. There's a journey involved and it took me a while 
about 15 years to connect everything. I think I've connected all of it. We have an event this spring where I'm going to teach basically everything I know and how it all works together. But starting in the beginning, what we do that's different is pretty unique. Uh, time can be analyzed and projected onto markets. That's from Center's class the other day. That's cool. Um, one of three different ways. And over the last 15 years, I've come across three different ways to predict accurately what a market will do in the future. Whether it's soybeans on a daily or monthly chart, I was looking at that last week, or last night actually, or the one minute NASDAQ chart. We can look through the lens of time and look through multiple lenses simultaneously for additional confirmation. But if we look through the simplest of lenses, we can choose to use data mining. We can look at salooner energy cycles, or we can look at the pure source code course, which is vibrational law. And so, there are stages of efficacy as we move through uh, the possibilities. The simplest, of course, being data mining. The more intriguing and ever reliable salooner cycles, and then sort of the pinnacle of it all. And we can actually use these in conjunction with each other. We can use them together to confirm different things. You'll see. Uh, confluence across different paths, but today we're here specifically to mention data mining. <clears throat> and what data mining does is it says, hey, what is the e-mini NASDAQ doing lately? Right? So what times are the markets going up or down regularly enough for a program to spot it? What times are markets going up and down regularly enough for a program to spot it? And so, metaphorically speaking, I had a friend um, back when I hosted a Bible study. The guy's name was Joel. Joel was the nicest guy on the planet. His hobby was collecting uh, centuries-old oil lamps from Israel. I have one downstairs. I'm not sure if it's real, and you'll know why in a minute. Joel started to develop an extracurricular hobby. He showed up later and later after work, and his beautiful wife, Sandra, who was perfectly happy and single, a wonderful woman, entrepreneurial, beautiful in her own right, left her life, her job, her real estate company to come live with Joel. And Sandra got suspicious. And so she hired a private investigator who told her, hey, Sandra, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 530, your husband comes out of the hospital he works at and drives seven miles down the road to a Red Roof Inn. And at six o'clock, somewhere between 10 to six and six o'clock, a woman pulls up who also works at the hospital. They go into the room together and they come out about an hour later. And so her algorithm, <laughs> the, the investigator who was her data mining procurement center, told her what times to expect Joel at the Red Roof Inn. And the following week, she arrived at the Red Roof Inn at 10 to 6 and confronted Joel with the photos that the, uh, that the private investigator had taken. So she knew when to be at a moment that something important was about to happen. So last week, or on Tuesday rather, those of you who've been going through the trial, this is the output for the e-mini NASDAQ. This is the market that I like to focus on. It fits with my personality type. Many of you have done well with it. Some of you, it's a little too fast. And at the very base level of the tower, the most basic of tool in the toolkits that we have available to us, a tool that works with all the other tools, right? We can use 
The pliers with a wrench, we can use the hammer with the pliers. They're all tools that work together. The most basic one was saying, hey, be aware of potential selling moments on Thursday at these times, which are Eastern times. But remember, we've had this information in the public domain for you to look at since Tuesday. And this is how we prove to you that what we believe is happening is happening. That time is the foundational element of any trading plan that's successful. And then conversely, guess what I'm gonna say next? All these times in the bottom of the chart were times that the program said, hey, these are red roof moments. These are times for whatever reason, I believe there's institutional collusion, not to offend anyone with ancestral connections to institutional uh, trading histories. However, there are people who are pushing buttons over and over again at these times in a certain direction to the upside. Now, this is foolish <laughs> if you want to have a software company and help traders because no one will believe you even if what I'm about to show you works. What if we came back together two days later and compared what was on this chart to what actually took place today? So for example, while we're here, can everybody see where I have circled the number 1037 up here and then the number 953 and then you have 1020 here? You'll notice that it corresponds directly to what was available since Tuesday on the website, okay? So all of the times that are here, 1122, 1143, 1122, 1143. I want you to know irrevo irrevocably, and this is to establish authenticity, transparency, and credibility. If I don't do it this way, you'll never believe anything I'm gonna tell you. So since Tuesday, we can check the server logs. You can see the photos haven't been altered. You can see the timestamps of the web page update. Nothing's been altered or changed. These were the times the program said to watch for things. And here's the magical moment. The further we get from Tuesday center, right? The harder it should be to analyze. The harder it should be to analyze and project. Now, what do I mean by that? Some of you have come down this road before. How many of you have ever heard of um, Fourier transform analysis, Hearst cycles, things like that? I want to explain why this is important. Anyone ever try to do something with Hearst cycles or Fourier transform analysis or things like that? Yeah, so what happens is, there are people who say markets are predictable and if we just study how a wave is working, we can break it into its constituent waveforms and there's a wave like this and there's a wave like that and there's a wave like this and all of these waves together make up this wave and then we can predict what this thing is about to do next because we know what the different waveforms inside the big wave are. Very complicated stuff. Well, Thomas, do you know what these companies do? Some of you do, that's why you're here today. They'll tell you, here's our prediction line. <laughs> and then inevitably, what happens? Inevitably, on the website, if you come back a week later, their prediction line changed. All of a sudden, center, it does this, it comes up and now it's going down. And if you call the owners, you'll say, hey, what happened to this line? And the Fourier guys will say, oh, yeah, we had to recalculate. We had to recalculate the line. New information became available. I hate that. Do you hate that? I hate that. And so I decided 15 years ago, hey, 
on my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God in the country and help other people at all times to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake. And then the last line of the scout code, morally straight. I want to do it in a way where you can trust it. No recalculations, no reprinting, no disappearing and reappearing. So here's what we were waiting for in the NQ today. Everybody see this okay? So we had some pretty cool information today. We had the unemployment report. I'm pretty sure. Let me double check. I wasn't fever dreaming that. We had unemployment. We had PMI, existing home sales, all sorts of fun stuff. Thomas says, you'll never make it in politics, Lydic. <laughs> That's probably true. So if we look at a small sample of the times that we were waiting for Joel to show up at the Red Roof Inn, some pretty cool stuff starts to emerge from the ether. And we can look at all the times, but I want you to see Joel showed up at 837 at his selling appointment. And center, Joel showed up at 830. Joel showed up at 851 and him and his girlfriend got in the car and did more nefarious things at 901. Center, what happened at 913? A very specific time, right? Pretty specific, right? Everybody good so far? What happened at 944 and what happened at 953? These are prime trading moments, right? In what should be an impossibly difficult thing to project or predict. Inflation, unemployment, nobody surely has any plans. There's no way we can know unless time is the foundational element, the fabric of market movement, the foundational floor that weaves and holds everything together. Unless there are people somewhere who've been buying and selling at key times lately that are gonna do it again. And they don't think you'll figure out that they're doing it. As you move out of warp and into alpha and all the way through force, you start to question if even they're aware of the fact that they're doing it. Elements of free will and predestination collide together. But for now, let's assume it's a nefarious cabal of greedy people in mahogany laden offices. What's going on with the 935 signal? Does anyone know what's up with that 935 signal? Because Earl, it went in the complete opposite direction. How many of you can see that in your go-to webinar chat box area, there's a thing that says handouts. And if you click on it, this stupid book pops up. I thought I would be sci-fi-ish and relay some things that I've learned about time over the last 15 years. And one of the things we noticed, Center, we, we reviewed this with you last night. When you arrive at a time that is a selling pressure time, and that time is structurally a brand new low, the candle to the left or the right of it, either one of these three stooges, if there's a prior swing low, and we arrive at the time we were expecting a selling signal, a really cool thing happens. The polarity reverses. And so different examples of, of what that looks like, positive becomes negative, negative becomes positive, and the thing we were expecting to go down, in fact, assumes a reverse polarity. Can everybody see there's a prior swing low here at 926 and then centered the lowest low is 935. 
if I manually draw that signal right here, does this make sense what I've done? In fact, the software will allow me to come in and apply those discretionary uh, eliminators away. I can apply the advanced filter to warp. And now center, do you see at 935 where it drew that white arrow automatically? There's a number four underneath it. That was appearing as the candle was forming. But this was PMI and unemployment. I don't understand how you could know when those things were coming in advance, unless time is the fabric underneath all of it. Now, stay with me. We're going to go all the way to this afternoon. Here's lunchtime forward. Let your eye, <laughs> let your eyes look at what happened from lunchtime forward. Now, it's important that we remember all of these times were known about in advance, right? All these times were known about. I showed you where the times came from. You've had them since Tuesday. So everything we're talking about is this half of the afternoon. And again, to establish credibility, transparency, and prove to you that this is real, all I have to do is remind you we were looking for moves up at 1223. 1253, where else? 118, 150, 211, 234, 301, 318, 347. Where were we looking for sell offs or profit taking? 1228, 107, 130, 205, 221, 251, 303, and 330, as well as 403. Interesting. Interesting. What happened most of the time at the white dots? The times we were waiting for Joel to show up at the Red Roof Inn? I don't have to lead you into the answer. I don't have to use psychological techniques or sales Jedi mind tricks. Your brain's already going, wait a minute, what, 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 what is happening right now? You already know because you've traded longer than five minutes that that's a pretty important moment at 1238, that this was a stop run at 107. This one slows down, but kept going. Okay. This is a double top at 205 and 221 turns out to be the high of day. There's a drop directly down at 251. It falls like a rock at 330 and 403. Interesting. Interesting. So what do we make of this? Well, number one, I've taught you week after week, you can just trade the signals in the direction of the trend. You can enter at 1253 and exit at 107. You can enter at 118 and exit at 130. You can enter at 150 and exit at 205. You can enter at 211 and exit at 221. Enter at 234 and exit for a loss at 251. Enter at 301 and exit at 303. Enter at 318, exit for a loss at 330. Exit for a stop out at 347. And then exit for a profit by the close. using nothing but the times and an average, right? There's a difference between the signal and the setup. The histogram, the dots, that's raw information. What do we do with the raw information? Well, some of you've combined it and fun, unique, creative ways. You look for tops and bottoms at Bollinger Bands and Keltner Channels. You look for pullbacks to floor trader pivot levels. 
You watch for volume divergence, volume spread analysis signals, volume climax moves. All right. Some of you put these on Renko and range bars and you watch for zipper patterns that reverse on those bars. There's an infinite number of permutations and combinations. However, if you base those things off lagging indicators that are manipulatable, okay, it's a shifting sand foundation. If you base it off time, it's anchored. Those pillars go deep down into the bedrock of it all. Any questions about this? Any questions about this? Okay. I want you to look and see what happened on Tuesday or Wednesday. These are the times on the E-mini NASDAQ for Wednesday that you also had access to in advance. So you'll see here, you have the times for Thursday and you also have the times for Wednesday. And if you look at the times for Wednesday, I'm just picking one. I like this one, it's my favorite. Those times match up, 11.56. Can you see the high right here, guys? There's 11.56 down there. 10.23, there's the high. 10.23 is the high down here. And then the net, the net of the day is pretty cool. You're in the right direction most of the time. Oh, fantastical. Fantastical. Now, we're not limited to a small time frame. We can look at higher time frames. And each week we come back and use this as a touchstone. We look at the daily chart on the E-mini S&P. And I use the same settings, so I wanna make sure I've got them. And if you go back and look at the last webinar I did, uh, on our YouTube channel, Everything I do has a verifiable aspect to it. And if we go into this, let me see if I can show you. Is that the daily? Right here. Can everybody see that chart? So Center, this webinar was from 13 days ago. Leroy, this is from 13 days ago. And these are the chart signals that we were watching in this webinar two weeks ago. And the dates are here, Friday, February 9th, and Wednesday, the 21st. I'll blow it up so you can see it. The last time I was here with you, this is what we were waiting for. Matt, does that make sense? The program gave us the red roof in moments. Joel leaves the building. Joel walks back into Sandra's house. He got mad that she didn't have his laundry ready when he came home from cheating on her. That's a true story. <laughs> That's a true story. Why didn't you do my laundry? And she knew she had a folder full of photos beautiful lady the fact that he's still alive is a testament to her patience so can you see what happened on the ninth can everybody see this these are big moves guys this isn't a one minute nasdaq chart this is the wake-up call for some of you who've been searching forever you're here you found the place you got to get out of the car and walk in the building though this is where i left you this hadn't happened yet what happened it fell when did it start to go up again here <laughs> if you bought the net if you bought this market when we had the webinar you would have gotten out with a 91 profit if you sold it 
it came down maximum favorable excursion as much or more and ended up $54 in your favor. If you bought it yesterday, it's gone up $100 again. How is this possible? How are these things possible? It's not something that's ever changed. It's been around for a long time. We talked yesterday with a great group of guys about a man named William Delbert Gann from Lufkin, Texas. He was raised in a part of Texas whose accents are very similar to George W. Bush, the son. Strategery, dead or alive. <laughs> and so the techniques that Gann used are pulling from the same foundational well, that reservoir of pure, unadulterated hydrogen, oxygen, water, glacial. Mm -hmm. But in the end, if it doesn't produce a statistically relevant trading edge, what's the usefulness of it? So, we try to make everything actionable, deployable versus theoretical. Many of you have spent, raise your hands if you worked with a guru, you spent time in a course where the person you paid thousands of dollars to said very heady philosophical things. And at the end of each session, you didn't know how to trade it. Well, what do I do with this? Patience, all will be revealed. By doing nothing, we do something. Selah. Anybody have one of those gurus? I had one. Nearly killed the guy. So frustrated. I had his address. I almost bought a plane ticket. It's just close. So when we're looking at this, we're piggybacking the discoveries of people who came before us but we're not really discovering anything so much as uncovering a truth that has been true for quite some time and so i believe this quote we didn't invent time it was here when we got here we just believed what other people before us believed and we've made it in a way that's deployable actionable, tradeable, right? The signals are the signals are the signals. We don't need to go into all that right now. So coming up in the future, look, the next signal is on March 7th. March is a pretty important month in our inner circle, things we're watching for. March is a very important month with our inner circle. We can compare what's happening now to what happened in 2008. And there are some remarkable structural similarities. This move, this little pullback, this little stall, the big one's coming. This is just a hiccup, a head fake. March is a very important time. But we already see where the signals are coming up. And so we can look at this, we can look at other charts like Netflix or Home Depot, and we can see that the signals are here. And if you're looking for calls or you wanna buy some shares and get out, the program is telling you what times to look for moves in the future. When are the guys at Goldman gonna ring that bell? When are the people at JP bullish on a thing? When does Warren reach into his $150 billion war chest and decide Netflix is a good idea or he's back in with Apple? Well, if you bought on the 15th, you were out by the 4th. If you bought on the 14th, you were out by the 19th. If you were out in the 20th, you hit your stop loss on the, 5th, on the 2nd of, Janu of January. And then if you bought on the 11th of January, you were out on the 29th and if you bought 
on the 12th, you were out by the 21st. Plus 2, plus 20, plus 80, that's $100 minus 20, that's $80 of beautiful Netflix goodness. And the best thing is, it keeps coming and the times never change, they never disappear, they never reappear. Any questions about this? Anything else we need to be looking at? We can look at other markets, larger time frames. We can look at gold. And guess what? It does the same thing. The same patterns in gold appear on the chart. We can look at oil. Let's pretend we own uh, a company that hedges with jet fuel, right? We're Southwest Airlines now. When will the price of oil be lower? When will the price of oil be higher? Boy, it would be nice to know those things in advance, wouldn't it? If you ran an airline or a trucking company. Hmm. There's lots of things we can do. We can do this with bonds. We can do it with equities. We can do it with commodities, oil, gold, wheat, corn, soybeans. We could do it with cryptocurrencies. There's lots of things we can do. But I have to do this to prove to you that it works first. If I show you that they had a plan before the biggest of the moves and you see that it happened over two days, woohoo! Now I've got you. <laughs> Any questions about this? Everybody's really, really, really quiet uh, today. And that's fine. Everybody's really quiet. It can be a little overwhelming, right? Here are the signals from Bitcoin today. Was there any pre-planned movement in Bitcoin? Ken, that's good. Try to share with the group, would you? Look how organized Bitcoin is. Faith, um, I'm going to get your email here and I'll make sure that um, we get in touch with you. Basically, um, it's pretty easy to do. Let me write a note to the group here to make sure you get that moving forward. Uh, I'll do that now before I forget. a beautiful name by the way makes me think of the George Michael song which is one of my favorites right before the freedom song please get with faith to okay you should get a note with me and I'll put my person on it no Center, we'll do that together here in about a half an hour. <laughs> you're, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> this is the part of the webinar center where I put the I put the moves on people. Right? This is the part of the webinar where I, I put the moves on them. But I just want them to see what Bitcoin does every day at the times. Right, I got, you're messing up my spiel. <laughs> I'll go over all of that with you. Um, so yeah, whatever you're trading, we have to assume that this is happening. We can add it onto a chart. We can take a look at what the net results were and then make a decision. What are we gonna do in the future? Some of you are stocks and options traders. One of our oldest customers, his name, I'll leave you with a story and then we'll kind of wrap things up. I got a very important meeting with a, a person who thinks he's very important here in about 20 minutes. So <laughs> we had a customer who now works with us. He worked for the University of Missouri and he was in their ID department, IT department, and he decided he was gonna take a course. And the course was on finances and investments. And when we were running this experiment, 
um, his class's job was to buy and sell stocks, uh, monopoly money, right? SIM accounts over the course of the semester. And at the end of the semester, some of the students had single digit returns and he had double digit returns. And he's telling me this story. And I said, you know, many of you know him, Tim Flynn. And I said, Tim, what did you do? He said, I used your weekly forecast times. And I just bought and sold using those times. And he said, at the end of the course, I got the A and everyone wanted to know, what are you using? <laughs> he had Nancy Pelosi returns. <laughs> and now he trades his retirement account with the QQs, the QQQs and SPY, and he's all in long or all in short using these same tools that you guys have access to. That's a true story. He's a real guy. He looks like ZZ Top met one of the Duck Dynasty guys. He is a Zen philosopher, a child of a huge Irish family. I think one of teens of kids, 13, 14 kids. His mom's uterus is in the Smithsonian. And he is an avid expert master tracker and trapper. You guys have some of the best hobbies uh, I've ever seen. That's a true story. And I want you to know that it's possible because everything I've done center is in the future. I'm working with possibilities, right? And so whatever we want to analyze, whatever market we're looking at, whatever stock we're, we're taking peaks at, right? Whether it's Microsoft or Tesla or whichever, I'll show you that one. I need you. I'm going to hold that because I want to make sure you show up in a minute. <laughs> whatever we're looking at, the information's there. The information's there. We just have to believe. If this is something you'd like to do, I won't belabor the point. You guys know how this works. It's an indicator for NinjaTrader. And there's a few things that a lot of people have questions about, and I want to review one of them with you here. What's the difference between all this stuff? And I want you just to understand the program that we're talking about is Tachyon Warp. Tachyon is a combination of two words, one taken from the infamous Roddenberry series Star Trek, Tachyon with a Y, and Eon. Tachyon with a Y is a particle that can move infinitely forward and backwards in time, theoretically. Eon means an endless age. So warp, in our opinion, is able to move backwards and forwards in time endlessly. All of these tools are completely based in time. And so this is where most of you will start your journey. Some of you are going to ask what Aurora is. While we're here, I just want to cover that sort of a warm up for an important meeting here in a few minutes. Aurora takes the NQ or the SPY chart and it overlays a trading system on top of it. It overlays a statistical analysis on top of it. It's for people who want to go a little deeper with Aurora Yellow. There she is. It's for people who want to take warp and go an extra step. So in this chart, if you had uh, your charts up this morning, it's telling us when to go long and when to go short. It's telling us when to look for signals in the direction of the trend. It's projecting targets where it's likely to go. And it's telling us some things in the corner. It's saying, hey, center out of the last 225 buy dots, 146 of them haven't hit their stops. Of the last 170 sell dots, 114 of them haven't hit their sell dot stops with the settings that we optimized for this market. When you see a light green line, it's telling us this is a point to get in. At 1102, it crosses the moving average 
And now we can get in and buy and hold until 11.12. At 11.20, a thick dotted, dashed, forgive me, a dish, a thick dashed green line plots. And now I hold it until 11.25. There's a signal at 11.32, it gets up, it gets up, and it finishes in the red by 11.51, and so on and so forth. These signals tell me when to get in and when to get out, when to get in and when to get out. There's additional setups in here, including a breakout setup. For example, at 1.28, we don't want to sell. Center, we want to see if the selling fails. So you'll see a string of green arrows or green triangle heads that says, hey, if we get above this line, you should buy it. And that's your entry here. So wherever you see a grayed out rectangle, those are areas we're looking for breakouts to the upside. It happens here. And it happens here. So it's a fully enclosed analysis tool. It gives us statistical feedback based on the warp settings. It gives us entries, both breakouts and trend entries. It will also, when the signal is forming, tell us what the risk reward ratio is. So if it's better than two to one, it turns green and you can set that ratio yourself. So Aurora lets us come into the warp program go down into the analysis area. It will let us choose stops and targets. How long do you want me to test it going in? Do you want an ATR stop, a fixed stop, a fixed target, an ATR target? And really for some of you who like to roll up your sleeves and optimize things, it's a laboratory. It's an all-in-one, I would call it a semi-automatic trading system that takes all the guesswork out of warp where we go from something like this to something like that. So some of you ask that question every week, what's the difference between warp and Aurora? Once you have warp, you can really squeeze blood from that stone and do some cooler stuff with it if you want to, or like many of you, just keep it simple and do what you wanna do. Force is a big boy toy. I don't even wanna talk about that here, big girl toy. And Optimus right now is closed to a small group of early adopter customers, uh, our automated version of Aurora for people who uh, stepped into that project about a year ago. So more information coming about that, stand by. So Aurora is a plugin, a subscription for Warp that you can use every month and basically have a turnkey trading system. If you like Warp, there's a way to get it. It's accessible, it's available and many people have gotten it before you did. In fact, if you go to the Trustpilot page, uh, anybody who can write anything and is allowed to write whatever they want because we don't own Trustpilot, at the end of all of it, anyone who's ever said anything writes kind of the same stuff. And so we have a review as low as one star. We have a couple threes, but most of you, are kind of writing the same thing. I like it, it worked, it helped me. It's what I've been searching for. Every person here I will uh, commit to you truthfully is a real customer, someone who has the software, they're using it. They're actually in our system, except this guy. When you see light green, they're not an actual customer. But when you see Mawando, he's a real software guy. Ben's a real customer. Rick's a real customer. David's a real customer. Mitchell's a real customer. These are people with phone numbers and email addresses. You can call them. You can talk to them. I don't care. They're real people. And so when you move through this, we do have a live training room. I run it now. There's one room. I run it. I show setups. Today, if you were in my room, um, when we left, I was in a CL long, uh, based off of our warp signals today, 
And I think I took a screenshot of it. Yes. After the room closed at 11 o'clock, I was still in it and we were up about $500. These are the kinds of setups that we use. We look at the warp signals together with the NASDAQ, the e mini S&P, oil. We look at daily analyses for the stocks like Tesla and SPY and Amazon and such and so forth. If you're interested in being in a group of people like that, or if you're an old customer and you want to join, let me know. We meet 9 to 11, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and you can add that to your cart if you like. If you don't want it, fine. You don't need it. It's okay. You won't hurt my feelings. This is the purchase agreement. We commit to making sure this works. We have programmers that make sure it's bug free. There are no issues, no glitches. We update the program probably two or three times a year. As of right now, those updates are included for free. They're not going to be free for long. We're told by the accountant we have to charge a monthly or an annual fee for that. It's coming. If you have a computer from 1975, you bought the one that the Apollo space mission used and you had it in your garage and you want to run warp on it, no, stop. Don't do it. But my Commodore 64 runs all of my word processing documents flawlessly. It's not going to run on a Commodore 64. Please have a minimum computer requirement available for this. Okay. This is not a try it and see if I like it thing. Please don't call PayPal and tell them you never got the program. You don't know who these people are. They're Chinese hackers. I don't know what warp means. We're going to have all your emails, all your Skypes, all of the receipts, your IP addresses, and we're going to send them to the PayPal person who's going to go, shame on you. Don't do it. We're all in when you buy. We are on your side. I have a promo code, W-A-R-P-O-F-F. -F. When you put that promo code in, W-A-R-P-O-F-F, -F, no caps, no spaces, it's actually going to take $500 off the price. Okay? So, lifetime updates, video training archive, access to mentoring services if you need them in the future. We also have a group of knuckleheads on Skype who are looking at and talking about signals all the time. They're sharing their results. They're sharing their ideas. They're in here sharing their results, asking questions. Some of them don't know what a screen capture program is, and they use their cell phones. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just made my day. There are customers in here that you can talk to, interact with, friendships that you can create, you can collaborate with, do laboratory stuff with, who are doing very well. And they're sharing their ideas with each other, many of whom are in the Apex or the um, Top Step Trader or uh, Funded Trader uh, groups. So that's available free of charge. Just let us know. Email Rachel if you want to have access to that group as a customer you're more than welcome to uh to come in and check that stuff out any questions about this do we sort of royal down here and get started with the future it's a real thing all of this is a real thing i love this picture because this is what we do best everyone here does what they do better than everybody else I've ever met. I think I have a gift for discovery and explanation and teaching. That's my purpose. My partner's job is to collaborate with other nerds, make airtight products and programs, and train and trade. Uh, the other people here are brilliant in assisting, helping people on board with sales. We have mentors who are easily qualifying for funded accounts and training many of you to follow in their footsteps. All of you who know Rachel, she's just good at everything. Uh, we want to be your support team. This is Le Mans. This is the Daytona 500. We've been here for 15 years. I intend to be here 15 more. I'm 52. 
I want to do this as long as I can. I love it. It took me a long time to figure out what I was supposed to do. And uh, I'm all in if you're all in. So faith, that's involved with the force tool. Anything with sun and moon uh, is all part of that, uh, closer to that area of the, uh, the spectrum. It's all part of the same thing, and warp basically dips into the same well, the same well of functionality. Time, if you think of it like an aquifer, the sun, the moon, the patterns that you saw intraday on the chart, vibrational law, we're all just drilling into different parts of the aquifer, but it's the same water. So great place to start out. I use that to get people's attention and prove to them that it's real. And in this case, I can see it's still working. <laughs> so I hope you'll be a part of our family moving forward. Any other questions as we uh, wind down here? You can have it. It's available. You can get data for NinjaTrader from multiple sources now from any one of the plethora of funding companies. Apex just had a 90% account promo code, which means you can run our indicator on NinjaTrader for like 40 bucks a month and get the data. You can connect it to your TD Ameritrade account, your Interactive Brokers account, your eSignal account, your uh, Coinbase has a data feed for it now. Forex.com, I think, connects to it. There's so many ways to use it, and it's free for charting, so you don't have to spend another dime. <sighs> Finally, I love all of you. You're all here for a reason and a purpose. I take this very seriously. Uh, we have maybe not a divine appointment, but one that has brought us together for a reason for this moment in time. And so I put a lot into this to make sure that when you get here, your questions were answered. Is it possible? Did somebody know in the future what was going to happen? What are the real rules of the game? I've spent 40, 80 hours a week for 15 years digging under all the rocks and looking behind all the boxes, and I think I found the answer. And many of you are doing really well with the answers that we found. And so thank you. I really do love you. I appreciate it. You are uh, your family in so many ways. May the wind be at your back. May the sun shine upon your beautiful, handsome faces. May the valley rise up to meet you. May the mountains lay low before you as you go on your journey today. I am for you. We are your biggest fans. We are your most adherent supporters, whatever you're believing for yourself in the future, for your team, for your group, for your family, your community, your friends around you. If it's a vacation, if it's a missionary moment, if it's changing the lives of your family, creating generational wealth, retiring early, whatever it is, I know you can do it. I've seen other people do it. I know that it's possible. And I want to be a part of that story. Help us be a part of your story so you can finish what you started. I hope we get that chance. Have a great night, everybody. Take care. If you have any questions, you can reach me, Michael at backtothefuturetrading.com. Dave will be following up with some of you. Charlie as well, giving you calls and emails. What'd you think? What'd you think? What'd you think? Please respond. Do not ghost them. If you have no interest, just say, leave me alone, and they'll leave you alone. And wherever you end up, I wish you success wherever you go, but I hope you'll find it with us. The market you trade is not random. You can know the times into the future. Tomorrow when you wake up, if you don't have them and you're frustrated because you got roiled around and tossed around and you lost more money, I want you to remember you had a chance. You could have known. And if you're not using something that has a statistically relevant edge that's predictive, maybe what you're doing isn't trading. And it's okay to stop. It's okay to walk away for a while, settle your thoughts and figure out what's going on. You can lose your family, you can lose your livelihood, you can lose your kids, you can lose your freedom. Trading is a ravenous monster. And if you're not trading and you're gambling, 
it can all go away in a flash. So please, if that's your situation, pull away, get some help. We can help you connect to some things if you've got a problem with that. But if you're not there and you just want to be better, tomorrow can be an important first start. I wish you well. Take care, guys. I love you. I'll see you soon. Next week for my pro room people. Can't wait to hang out with you. Bye-bye.